Well, I'll say good day to all of you. Uh, my name is George, and I'm Clicker Snapper 01. I'm 63 years old, for those fellows that don't know. A lot of uh, you may know from the other uh, channels and groups. But at any rate, uh, I've been requested to show how uh, I, I, I make custom rims for SimHub uh, for my uh, uh, for my cars. So I'm going to do a uh, two or three part series on how to do that. Now, let me say this just uh, to start off. If you download Romaine Rob's package, and all you got to do is Google it and search for it, he's got a Sim Hub package that's really really good and it includes a lot of rims already and all you have to do is set them up in sim hub you don't have to create them all you have to do is just set them up okay and uh but you know in my particular situation and maybe yours like i said i was saying earlier you may want a rim that is not included in that package. And there has been several cases uh, that I wanted my own rim uh, to my liking. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the first thing you want to do is search for a rim, obviously. And I, I like this Grand Prix rim. And uh, I race a lot of uh, 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 Grand Prix cars uh, in our club on a set of course of friends. And so I thought, well, hey, you know what? I want another rim for the next race. I use a different rim for each race, whatever. So uh, I went out to uh, did a search and I found this rim on Momo's website so I'm gonna get it so if I click on the uh, the picture it brings up a couple of pictures and 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 on some you can just right mouse click and save the image as and and save it so I'm gonna do that now, keep in mind, though, that on some websites, you can't uh, right mouse click and save. So what you do is you get out your snipping tool and you snip it. But see, in this particular instance, we have this exclusive deals down here in the way. So you would have to find a image like this one up here so let me close that here's a smaller image see you would have to let me see if I can get that out of the way yeah yeah I can okay so if I couldn't download it open up snipping tool and snip it Okay, so there we go. And then you would save that in the folder of your choice. Now, in this particular rim, uh, I was able to right mouse click on it and save it. So let's take a look at it and see what it looks like. Let's go to my downloads folder. So here it is right here. Let's take a look at it. Okay, this happens to be the wrong name. So it says here, the file, I've never encountered this, so we'll just encounter it in the video in case you run into it. It's a PNG file with the incorrect extension. Rename? No. No. 
Okay, but I need a JPG. So I opened it up. We got to make a note of two things. So get out your pen and paper. In this case, I'll get out my trusty boogie board. All right. Image. Click on image and, and let's look at the resize resample. Okay, this image is an 800 by 800. Okay, that may be too big for SimHub. So let's resize that to 400 by 400. Because I know that will fit in SimHub. So let's resize that 400 to 400 and save it as a JPG file. Save as JPEG format. Save. Yes, let's replace that. Okay, now normally you wouldn't have to go through that. You just get the uh, image and you're done. But we had a little error on this. They, I guess it was renamed wrong when they made the website or something. But anyway, uh, enough of that. Now if we open it up, we don't get the error message. And our image size is 400 by 400. Okay. So, we've got our image. However, uh, we have to remove the background from it. We have to make it transparent. And so, uh, you know, I'm retired, and I don't like to spend money on things that I don't absolutely have to. And there's lots of free tools out on the Internet, as we all know. So, there is a free background remover website. And I will put the links in the description. And uh, uh, so you go to that. And it says here, drop your image on it. So, let's do that. And that's the reason why we have to save it in a JPG file. Because the website doesn't take PNGs. It takes a, a JPEG, and you've seen how we had that black square, and now it's gone. That's what we want, a transparent background. So now we can download that as a PNG. So now we've taken our original image, a JPG, and converted it and took away the background. And now we have a PNG, and that is what SimHub takes, PNG files. So now we have that. So I think this will end part one because... We have our rim. In the next video, part two, which is just a little bit longer, it's going to show how to get it into SimHub, import it into SimHub, and get the required settings to make it rotate in the simulator. So, part two will include... Uh, uh, that, that on how to do that. So, look for part two on, on my website under videos. Part one will be, will be here, of course. And if you, uh, like, uh, other videos, you want to check them out. I've got some other videos on some other rims and, and hubs I've created and dashes. Check those out. And if you like it, hey, put me a like on there. And if you uh, want to see anything else that I post, hey, subscribe. It's free. Uh, so we'll enjoy having you. So anyway, I'm going to cut it off here, and we'll see everybody 
uh, in part two.